Hi guys, today I want to talk eBay, selling a Rolex on eBay, a horror story, that's right, an eBay Rolex horror story, and this concerns a friend of mine, I'm going to change the names and the details to protect the guilty. So, a good friend of mine, he likes to do the Flea Bay, the Flea Bay Shuffle. He likes to buy a few pieces. And I gotta tell you, there's some people on eBay who are really dishonest fuckers. My friend was looking at pre-ceramic, pre-ceramic subs and GMT Rolexes. These are Rolexes, highly collectible, pre-ceramic. <clears throat> so they got the aluminum bezel and sapphire glass, you know, they're, they're, a, they're a nice kind of, they're a classic Rolex watch. And he, <clears throat> he has a look at them on the flea bay, and the listings, all genuine, all original, and uh, with collectors, there's a big thing with the hands and dial. If you've got a service dial, ooh, not so good. If the hands have been changed, a lot of collectors a lot of these older Rolexes used to use tritium dials. And tritium itself there is a little bit little bit radioactive, you know, tritium. And over time it'll develop a patina and it will age. Later on, early 2000s, sort of Rolex changed over to Luminova. Luminova, which was a new material to get the wristwatch to glow in the dark. Now, the funny thing is, when I was a lad in the 90s, everyone wanted Luminova. Now, everyone wants Tritium because they don't make it anymore. It's just crazy. I always seem to have the wrong one, okay? I always seem to have the wrong one at the wrong time. So, yes. Anyhow, my friend was he bought a Rolex. He bought a couple. He bought a couple. Let me run these horror stories by you. eBay buying horror stories. Um, horror story involving Rolex. Involving Rolex watches. So so he, 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 he's bought two watches and the first one comes in and he's got a dealer friend who looks at it. And uh, a quick plug. Quick, quick, quick plug. Sydney Vintage Sydney Watch Exchange, Sydney Watch Exchange, there you go, Sydney Watch Exchange. Um, he, and anyhow, he had got, got Sydney Watch Exchange to have a look at it, and, he, and the guy goes, ah, something's wrong here, I just can't put my finger on it, something's wrong here. <clears throat> this was a, a submariner, submariner. And then finally, the penny dropped. The back on the watch was actually a GMT back. <clears throat> so it was a submari submarina with a GMT back. So you can imagine, this is a real fuck up. Real fuck up, that's for sure. And that's just a disaster. Disaster, disaster. Just a real fucking dog's breakfast. So, um... My friend said, look, fuck, this isn't what I paid for. I paid a premium for this vintage classic sort of Rolex. And it's got the wrong fucking back on it. There was a debate whether some of the links were aftermarket or wrong. And they didn't have the right screws. Anyhow, my friend just said, this is too fucking hard. This is too hard. I'll send it back. <clears throat> so he sent it back. And uh, that, that, that was that deal there. So, you know, when you get these, if you buy a vintage or a classic Rolex on eBay, you got to get it checked quickly. It's always a good idea to have a dealer up your hand, even if you pay them 100 or $200 just to check it. you got to get it fucking, you want to know that everything's okay. Then he bought another piece. Another piece. This was a Rolex Submariner. I don't want to name too much because the, uh, the fucker who did this <clears throat> could be a fan of the channel and, you know, I don't really want to, this guy's a real nasty fucker. And uh, he said, all original, all die, okay, okay, okay. So anyhow, the watch turns up. This is a 10000 Australia, you know, over $10,000. And 
guess what? The hands are supposed to be tritium for that version. They turn out to be Luminova. Ah, oh, fuck. And uh, my friend did a bit of digging, mentioned this guy's name to a few people on the forums, the Watch Facebook forums. Guess what? They all know him. He's an asshole. He's an absolute fucking turd. This guy is the dial and hand swap king. Yes, 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 yes. So it's just a fucking disaster. A fucking disaster. And uh, he'd spoke to a few people on the... Well, a couple of people on the forums knew this guy well and another person got burnt badly. Apparently, <clears throat> this guy had also, he, as well as selling on, on Fleabay, eBay, he buys on eBay. He bought a watch on eBay, and then he tried to sell it, couldn't sell it, and then put a return in, because he is, it's not moving, which is completely unethical and wrong. And you know what happens, don't you? It's just always just nasty fuckers. Karma has a way of getting back to you. Anyhow, my friend had bought this watch and the hands were supposed to be tritium, but they were looming over. <clears throat> my friend said, look, I'm not happy. I want to send it back. Okay, 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 okay. So you go through eBay's system and eBay itself there, they have special, <coughs> they've now streamlined the return process. They print out a tag. You've got to send it back by parcel point. Parcel point. No worries, we'll get this underway, get this thing out of my life, get the money returned. Guess what happens? My friend takes it down to the parcel point, gives it to them, they scan it in, ding, it's all done, gone. Okay, return is happening. Then a couple days go by and it hasn't been delivered. You guessed it, it's been stolen from inside parcel point. Holy fuck. Holy fuckaroonies! Pinched us. And it's an absolute disaster. So eBay has requested it goes back by parcel point and it gets swiped. Pinched. That's right. Very, very nasty. Anyhow, my friend, this is, this is both ends are worried, the buyer and the seller. The seller, he's worried he's lost his $10,000. The buyer, he wants his refund. He's worried about $10,000 he's forked out. So they're both very concerned. Anyhow, eventually eBay agrees it was be returned by parcel point. It's irrelevant what's happened to it. They will give him a refund. And uh, they also tell him that the seller will be getting a refund too. But the seller... He's getting, uh, he gets, starts to get abusive. Why did you send it back, Parcel Point? That is a fucking stupid way to send it back. Really nasty, abusive, threatening, just very, very heavy handed. And uh, my friend started to get worried, thinking, fucking hell, this guy's a lunatic. <clears throat> and uh, it's a very, very tricky nasty neck of the woods. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do indeed? So my friend there, he he kind of um, he kind of said, look, this is fucking way, way, way out of my pay packet, way out of my pay band. I just want my fucking, I want my money back. I don't want to be involved with these low rent fuckers. Now, the question is, is the seller double dipping saying, hey, he might get, the seller might get a refund, but he hits up the guy who bought it, make him feel bad and say, hey, you chip in a couple grand. Who knows? These guys are fucking nasty crooks. Fucking nasty crooks. They get heavy handed. They get nasty. And uh, the only ironic justice is in this whole case is the guy who sold it. <clears throat> He got booted off the forums for being a fucking jerk. That's right. He got booted off the forums for being a fucking jerk. And um, 
yeah, that's kind of that's kind of how it goes there. But uh, eBay itself, there, <clears throat> man, eBay's good for hundred dollar, two hundred dollar items, but for expensive things, it's uh, not so good. Not so good. So, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know what the answer is there. It's, uh, it's very, very <clears throat> disappointing. Disappointing to say the least. Very, very disappointing. Got to be so careful on these things on the flea bay. You got to be careful on the flea. If you're buying and selling things, you want to be a bit careful. They, uh, some of these these sellers can be a bit nasty. So uh, that's an eBay horror story. The good news is is that my friend who bought the watch, he was refunded. Uh, I don't know whether this guy did get his money back. That was the seller. I don't know where the parcel point found the parcel. Uh, he was just so abusive. Uh, my friend just got the shits with him and didn't want to fucking hear a bar of it. But... um. There you go. Sometimes you want to be careful. If you're selling a very expensive item, sometimes eBay and Craigslist may not be the best way to go. I'm Paul Pluto. This is the Paul Pluto, the Archie Luxury and the Archie Corporate, Archie Luxury Corporate channel. Tell me what you guys think of that. Like, subscribe, tell your fuckhead friends, and don't forget, guys, <coughs> be careful on eBay. <coughs> Be very careful on eBay. If you got any eBay horror stories, email me. My email address is in the description below. And tell me your horror story.